Welcome everyone, this is your boy Dryda Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to CrazyBossV31, Weez GNZ Gaming and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install your Vinewood car park mod inside your Grand Theft Auto B folder. So like always make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. So make sure you download this mod. Now once you have completed that process, then all you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now as you can see, I have already installed my requirements, so make sure you do install your requirements. Now unfortunately, this mod does require menu, so make sure you do install menu. Once you have done that, then open up your menu stuff folder then go to your Spooner folder. Now open up your Vinewood Garage Extract folder and in that folder will be another folder. Open up that folder and now all you gotta do is go to your menu.xml folder and then select your .xml file and drag it inside your Spooner folder. Exit out of your Extract folder, go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And we are back and we are here with our custom peed and now we are going to go and check out the garage. But the garage is quite small but it's pretty good so we're going to go and check it out. So um, to actually spawn the garage you need to open up your menu, all you got to do is press F8 and then go down to Object Spooner and then go down to Manage Save Files and then go right down to the bottom to Vinewood Car Park. Now go down one and now load placements. Now your game will be blank for about a few seconds. So as you can see I'm in the game and now the mod is now all set up. Now obviously you just bring your car and we are inside the garage, so as you can see that we are in the garage, it's pretty cool, I like it. Um, a lot of details and and props all around the building. Um, and over here we've got a little garage, uh, like a workshop over here. You can actually delete this car and put your car over there if you want to. Or you can just try and drive it up, which I don't know if it's impossible, but I think you can. Um, yeah, so I don't think there's anything else to do in, in here, basically just park your car. So you can kind of just jump out and then get outside in the car park, so yeah. So this mod is quite awesome, it is it is small but it's something to add into the game while you are playing GTA V in story mode. And we're back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod, that mod is an awesome mod but it is small but at least it is something to add into the game so like always if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help out on that so with that all said if you guys did enjoy this video then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and i'll see you all on my next video Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.